Fair enough. And I'm not going to ask you about what fight comes after this one. You're focusing on Adrian Broner. But I will ask you, if you wouldn't mind, would you tell us what you said to Floyd Mayweather when you saw him at the basketball game the other day? Um, so surprisingly, uh, I didn't know that he was there in, in, the, in the game. Um, I was invited on that uh, uh, Filipino Heritage Night, that Clippers uh, game. Um, I didn't know that um, uh, he was there. And then when I'm throwing a um, um, T-shirt to the to the crowd, um, I saw him and then uh, I just say hello. Uh, that's it. All right, good stuff. I appreciate your time and looking forward to watching a good fight on January 19th. Be well. All right, thank you. Our next question is going to come from Carlos Toro from Fightful. Please go ahead. Hi, right, hello, Manny. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. My first question is, and basically, I know you've been hearing so much so many chatters, so many questions regarding the Floyd Mayweather fight, whether or not it's going to happen. Um, has it gotten to a point where you kind of feel a little annoyed or has it kind of been something that the distraction of the chatter surrounding it kind of been weighing on your mind throughout this training camp or do you just not pay attention to it? Um, you cannot, you cannot avoid that, uh, the people will ask, uh, if there's a rematch with the Floyd Mayweather, because I think, um, they have a big question mark in their mind also in their heart that, uh, what happened in that fight, um, I'm supposed to be one that that fight. And, uh, but, but, um, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm just answering them that, uh, I don't have a plan yet. Uh, I'm, I'm very focused to this, uh, uh, fight January 19 against Adrian Broner because um, Broner is um, he's uh, he's a former champion and he's uh, he's kind of fighter that you cannot uh, underestimate or taking him lightly. Okay, going back to kind of the training aspect of this fight, uh, well, what did it feel like having Freddie Roach kind of back in your corner helping you prepare for a fight? Did it feel <laughs> nice? Having kind of the, the, the duo back together that it felt like old times when you and Freddie were training for so many world title fights throughout the years? Um, Freddie is never um, out of the Team Pacquiao. It just uh, happened that uh, I want Bobo uh, to experience uh, being a head trainer in one fight. But a uh, good thing that, um, that we're working here again and in, in, in nice to be back here in, uh, in, in Wildcard Gym in Los Angeles, California, and fight again in Las Vegas. I think uh, that's, 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 uh, um, that's uh, uh, good for us to, to be united and uh, focus to this uh, coming fight next week. 